double digits, but the shooting of Golden State, Klay Thompson, Harrison Barnes, and as well as your boy Steph Curry, they just came back and got that thing locked down. Uh, Tristan Thompson played 47 minutes with LeBron James playing 46 minutes. Uh, Tristan Thompson in those 48 minutes, 47 minutes he played, he only went one of four from the field, but he had 15 rebounds, one assist, only two points, but those 15 boards were pivotal. Uh, LeBron James in his 46 minutes went 18 of 38, grabbing eight boards and six assists with 44 points in that losing effort. Kyrie Irving played 44 minutes, and as we know, where he broke his right kneecap and was laced out for the entire rest of the NBA Finals. He put up 44 minutes, uh, which David Blatt is being criticized for, but he put up 44 minutes. He went 10 of 22 from the field, garnering six assists, seven boards, five fouls, and 23 points. Three of those fouls were complete bullshit, but we won't let that go. Iman Shumpert comes in the game as the starter. He was 34 point shooting. I'm sorry, 34 minutes in the game, two or six from the field with two boards and six points. Timothy Mozgov was 50% from the field, shooting five of 10 in his 33 minutes on the court. He was able to get shit popping. He had seven boards and two assists with his 16 points. Bench players like J.R. Smith put up 34 minutes, went three of 13, wasn't as hot as he was in the previous series. But he went 3 of 13 for the field, grabbing four boards and scoring nine points. James Jones, 17 minutes off the bench, 0 of 1. He only had a board and four fouls with an assist to dealt. And Della Vadova only had nine minutes, no points, no fest. I mean, no uh, no field goal attempts at all. He just had a rebound and three assists. He also picked up a personal. Julian Harris, Sean Marion, Mike Miller, Kendrick Perkins, Brendan Haywood did not play in game one of the NBA Finals. And as I said, the Cleveland Cavaliers are were down arena. That's just what it is, ladies and gentlemen. That just goes to show you that underdog mentality of your boy Steph Curry said, hell no, we won't go. We ain't going nowhere. After being down by like 12 points at a pivotal point in the game to where you would think, well, this is the killer instinct portion of the game. So once all this shit gets finished getting knocked out, we're going to go ahead and get these guys out of here. We're up by 10. We're up by 12. Let's just get them out of here. Nope. Started missing shots, having uh, pivotal turnovers in favor of Golden State. And Steph Curry just came on and bang, getting that motherfucking Mike Breen popping. But I digress, ladies and gentlemen, it's Radio AFG Live. This is the NBA Finals Recap Monday broadcast. If you guys got music you want spun during the show, send your MP3s to defydeucegun at gmail.com. That's D-A, the number five, D-U-E-C-E-G-U-N at gmail.com. And we'll get that thing on here for your free 99 on the independent platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs, Radio AFG Live. We're about to get into the next track of the afternoon right now before we break it down to game two and give you the stats on that one. This track right here is coming from the homeboys known as Illiteracy, and the track is entitled Bring Them Home, produced by, produced by Chris Prither. Let's go. <laughs> I 
understand it at all It's rapping enigmatic Right there amongst the fiends and addicts Neck and neck with the next man Chasing after green and carrots But we never seen them berries Good stars, no concrete path And they honor though Told from the start that everything is impossible Dream assassins who hate to see passion Your struggle is comical Coming up is a common goal Working fast like we don't know death Wait to the finish line Still nothing but hard work Though it's never put in time Only thing easy to do is die Orders overseas, another tip of goodbye Never hesitated when called He's something wild with a pride And something bigger than self-exemplified Fighting for your right to be ignorant, lazy Practice the religion of your choice For safety, to be a homosexual And love who you want So why when they get dying are we so nonchalant Sons and daughters of an ill fate Not asked for or agreed to And many others precede you A folded flag and your personal respects That nobody's family wants to be handed or collect It's real when you feel that your pain in your chest And miss them so much you wish you were next I pray you bring them home Produced by Chris Pritham and track is known as Bring Em Home on this NBA Finals Recap Monday. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We back like we ain't never left, ladies and gentlemen. It's Real Way of G Live. If you guys got music you want to spend on the show just like your literacy, all you got to do is send your MP3s with the information correctly to defydeucegun at gmail.com. That's D-A, the number five, D-U-E-C-E. G-U-N at gmail.com. Please put in the subject header radio AFG live airplay or submission. That way I know what it is. It's not just a track put up inside my box with just no information, just an MP3 attachment. I need to know what I'm looking at. And I need to know who I'm looking at it from and for. So please make sure you get me that information correctly and we'll take care of you on this independent platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs, Radio AFG Live. Phone lines are still open and numbers as follows, 215-471-0713. The number one more again, 215-471-0713. We're going to get into the second recap game right here for the NBA Finals. Game two was just last night, this past Sunday night, on ABC. All the finals can be caught exclusively on ABC. We're going to go through Golden State starters, their bench, what they played in terms of minutes and how they scored. But before I do... Let me go out on a limb and say once again, this was another competitive, awesome, watchful game. First time in NBA Finals history where both of the first two games of the Finals went into overtime. It was fucking awesome. First time it's ever happened in NBA Finals history. 
So you can go back as far as you want to go back. Since it, since NBA Finals started, it has never happened before that both of the games went to overtime. They were highly competitive. And once again, the Cleveland Cavaliers had a double-digit lead late in the game that started off fucked up in the fourth quarter by both teams shooting horribly. Cleveland going one of nine. Golden State going two of eight to start off the fourth quarter. But then Golden State and Steph Curry started coming on because Steph Curry really was shut down. He went 0 of 8 with the homeboy, uh, Matthew Della Vadova, uh, guarding him. He was 0 of 8 from the field, 0 of 5 from downtown. He had four turnovers against him because the boy Della Vadova was playing a hell of a defense on him. So you got to give it up for that. <laughs> Steph Curry was getting shut down. You know what I'm saying? He was. I'm not bullshitting. I ain't hating. As I made clear, I'm not for or against either one of these teams. I'm just a fan of basketball at this point, and I can enjoy any team, even if it wasn't no team. If it was five niggas from off my block versus five niggas from off another block, and I know all ten of them niggas could play basketball. I've seen them play on the court before. If them niggas played like that, I'd be sitting here saying that was a highly competitive game, and them niggas killed that shit. Not just, oh, because it was one of my friends on the team or because my friend didn't get picked to run the fool. I can't vote that that was a good game, even if it's 10 strangers on 10 strangers, which is exactly what we, I mean, five strangers on five strangers, which is exactly what the hell we see in the NBA because how many of us is hooping with LeBron James and Steph Curry? And I ain't talking about no fucking 2K either. Like it's about no NBA 2K. I mean, how many of us is going down the street after we get finished work, come home, wash up and all that shit? Get a beer, roll the L, and I'm like, yo, Steph, yo, LeBron, we about to go down to the south and play some ball and shit. You, you trying to go? Like, no, ain't nobody, ain't nobody doing that. That being said, I'm not voting for or against either one. I hope made the best man win. You got the league MVP taking on a four-time league MVP in LeBron James versus Steph Curry, vice versa, because Steph Curry is the one-time MVP going against a four-time in LeBron James, who's still heralded as the greatest basketball player in the world. That's what they say. And I'm not hating on the guy, you know? First of all, I'm not hating on nobody. I don't care what you do. You see, I do a little talk show slash radio show. I play independent music. I'm an independent artist myself. I make beats, I shoot videos, I edit and do all that shit, right? And I'm just trying to get my chops up and educate myself and get better with all the equipment that I got at my disposal and all the software that's inside said equipment. So, does that mean that every other independent producer or every independent studio or every independent rapper or every independent videographer I got to hate on and throw shade to? Because I'm in that same field and I can see them spending all this money to make their quality that way, but I can't put $100,000 on one video, so I, I'm sitting there hating because they put $100,000 into their video and I can only put $1,000 into my video, so I'm hating. Fuck them, Nick. No, I'm not that type of person, man. You should know that right now. So with that being said, stuff that he was shut down by Matthew Della Vadova is not me hating on Golden State or hating on Steph Curry. That's just speaking the truth. Steph Curry had an off night as it was by himself. Steph Curry had an off night by himself. At the end of the day, we had so many... Uh, different looks, people that was defending him and everything like that. It was crazy. Excuse me right there. I got a uh, response to this is my brother. One of my younger brothers. Apologies, folks. But as I was saying, there is no hate or no shade being thrown to Steph Curry because I said he was shut down. He was already having a bad night himself, you know. Totally minus, you know, not even minus, just adding those eight missed shots that he had in his attempts when Della Vadova was doing defense. He finished last night's game in 42 minutes, five of 23, with six rebounds, five assists, and 19 points. The majority of which came in the fourth quarter and overtime when he started taking control and trying to do his thing. He tied the game up near the end of regulation with about 10.9 seconds left or 10.7 seconds left to go in regulation. As we all know, it went to overtime again. Klay Thompson played